Starting a photography business can be complex and confusing and overwhelming. You might not know where to start or what to do or, or what things you need to buy or subscribe to. In this video, I want to outline the software that I think you need to have in order to run a successful photography business. I've organized this into four separate categories. So starting us off in the must have section, the first thing you're going to need is a Google account. My recommendation is to use your personal Google account. The reason for this is that when you get into using a studio management software, system, you are going to need to integrate your personal calendar, your personal schedule so that it can check against it. Most software systems don't allow you to connect more than one Google account. So you're going to want to stick with one and then run everything through that. You're also going to need your Google account to set up Google Analytics and your Google business profile. If you haven't set up your Google business profile yet, you really need to do it today. You need to take control of your information for your business that's out there on Google. Your hours of operation, your address, your contact information, photos that are associated with your business. You want to have control of your Google business profile. That's very, very important. Next, you're going to need to register a domain for your business and get a domain email for your business. You don't want to use an at Gmail account for business communications. You want an email that is maybe your name at yourbusiness.com, you want to register and have your own domain. My preference for this is to use Hover. Hover.com, excellent domain management, very simple to set up, very simple to use. I have all my email connected through Hover and it just runs right into Gmail and uh, it's very simple to set up. It's also very simple to connect Hover to the next thing I'm going to mention, which is a website. You absolutely need to have a website. My choice of website platform is Squarespace. I have a number of videos on Squarespace. It's very secure. It's very robust. It's very redundant and well-maintained piece of software. It is much safer than a WordPress website and it is very easy to use, very user-friendly, especially for photographers like us who want to have nice, good visuals displayed on the website in a very clean, easy to see, easy to use, intuitive interface. Squarespace is fantastic. The next things you're going to need are payment processors. You need to be able to accept payment from your clients and if you set that up online through a studio management system, you're going to want to use either Square or Stripe. Personally, I like Square, but Square doesn't function in as many countries as Stripe does. I prefer the interface on Square and I run all of my transactions through Square, but if you live in a country that can't use Square, then Stripe is your next best option. If you are someone who travels a lot and accepts payment in multiple currencies, then Stripe might be the way to go. I strongly caution against using PayPal. I have heard so many horror stories about wedding photographers and other photographers who end up losing a lot of money because they, they get bad clients and those bad clients want to reverse their charges through PayPal. PayPal makes it so easy for somebody to scam you. I used to love PayPal, but I absolutely refuse to use it nowadays. Sign up with Square or sign up with Stripe. Use one of those two. You will be much, much happier. The next thing you're going to need is a raw image processor. You need to be able to process your images. My image processor of choice is Capture One Pro. I highly recommend everybody use Capture One Pro. I prefer it over Lightroom. The image quality is just significantly better. So Capture One takes higher priority for me than Lightroom and Photoshop. The next thing that you're going to need in the must have section is a two factor authentication app. You need to have two factor authentication set up on your website. You need to have it set up on all of your socials. You need to have it set up anywhere that enables you to have two factor authentication. I've heard too many stories about people losing their Instagram accounts or having the WordPress sites get hacked. Set up two factor authentication and feel much more secure knowing that your primary business assets, your primary marketing assets are safe. That is why two-factor authentication app is in the must-have section. Now taking a look at the should-haves, first in line is Photoshop. Adobe Photoshop, definitely uh, you should have this. So you're going to have to subscribe to Adobe's Creative Cloud Photographer's Package at the least. You should have Photoshop to finish all the retouching and if you're an architectural photographer or interiors photographer, you're probably going to be doing a lot of luminosity masking and so you're going to need Photoshop to do that. Next, you should probably have a 
Studio Management System. I use Sprout Studio to handle all of my bookings, my contracts, my online galleries, email communications, automations, workflows. Sprout Studio is the best studio management software on the planet. It has its flaws, and I think there are some things that could definitely be improved, but hands down the the automations the workflow automations the contracts the booking templates booking proposals the built-in schedulers it's such a robust piece of software hands down it is the best studio management software system in the world next up you're going to need an instagram account every photographer needs to have an instagram account no matter what the naysayers say about instagram you have to be on instagram you have to be publishing regularly on instagram photos reels stories you need to use Instagram. You're also going to want to register and make sure that you have representation on other social platforms that are right for your business. That could be Pinterest. If you're a wedding photographer, if you're a commercial photographer, you'll want to have a Behance account and a Commune account. If you're an interiors photographer or an architectural photographer, it would be a good idea for you to have an account set up on House where you can display the projects that you photographed. House is a great website for you to be able to connect with your clients, such as interior designers, interior decorators, architects, maybe landscape architects, people who will want to hire you to make their business look better. Next, you want to make sure you have analytics accounts. You'll want to have a Google Analytics account set up and connected to your website. This is exceptionally easy to do with Squarespace. And I'm also going to recommend that you set up and embed a Metapixel on your website. This is also very easy to do with Squarespace. Two more reasons why I highly recommend Squarespace. Meta is the company that owns Instagram and Facebook. You should definitely have a Metapixel set up on your website so you can take a look at your audience and get to understand them through their insights a lot better. Better. The last thing I'm going to mention in the should have category, you'll want to sign up for a password manager. I use NordPass and I don't know a single one of my passwords. A lot of my passwords are 60 characters long and uh, just a jumbled, scrambled mess of characters, which is incredibly secure. Whenever I need to log into a website, I can just click on the icons to get NordPass. I can open the app on my phone and copy the password, paste it in the box. It's ready to go. NordPass is exceptional and inexpensive, and it's the best password manager that I've used. I don't recommend using LastPass. LastPass has had a couple of security breaches and incidents that made me switch to NordPass. Now we're going to head into the good to have category. I'm going to start off in the good to have category with accounting software. My personal recommendation for accounting software is FreshBooks. It's great for expense tracking and they even have invoicing if you want to skip over having a studio management system right away. I don't recommend you do that. I would recommend getting the studio management system first. Sprout Studio includes expense tracking. You can add your expenses. You can track your mileage. You can set those to be relevant to specific jobs. So you can track your revenue versus your expenses on a job to job basis. Next up in the good to have is an international banking account. I use Wise. Wise is incredible. You can get a physical card that you can use with 50 currencies pretty much anywhere in the world. It's a Visa debit card. It has chip and pin security. It also has tap. I can add it to my Google wallet. You can add it to your Apple Pay. And I'm, I'm over the moon with Wise. If you're a destination wedding photographer, you should have a Wise account. It will make your life easier. You can use 50 different currencies when you're traveling. I'm going to Costa Rica in a month and I'm going to be using this in Costa Rica. The best thing about it is you can transfer money into your Wise account. But if you're anywhere in the world, you don't need to convert the currency before you use it. You can have your account sitting with your default currency. And if you happen to be in Costa Rica and tap that card to pay, it'll handle the currency conversion and the payment. No problem. You don't need to worry about it. Check it out. Get yourself set up with a Wise account. My next recommendation is design software. I use Canva to do a lot of my designs. Outside of website design, I used to use InDesign. I used to use Illustrator and Photoshop and, and I have the full Creative Cloud suite, but I prefer to use Canva. It's really simple. It's easy to use. It's easy. It's fast. It's great. If you need design software, Canva is fantastic. They have a ton of templates to help you create marketing materials, social ads, posters, anything that you 
you think you might want or need, Canvas got it. It's really fantastic. It's free. You could get a pro account and establish your brand settings, your brand colors, your brand fonts, and a pro account gives you access to a lot more images and elements to use. I think a pro account is worth it, but you do not need a pro account. You can start with a free account. The next thing is a recommendation for me in the good to have category, but personally, I can't live without it. And that's automation software. I use Zapier and if this, then that, I-F-T-T-T. Zapier is phenomenal. I do so much with it. You can start out with a free Zapier account and a free I-F-T-T-T account. You can do a lot with those things to create automations that work and help you in your business. Zapier is one of the things that next to my website, it is an absolute must have for me. But I think when you're starting out, you don't necessarily need to pay for it. As your business grows and you start to realize everything that Zapier can do to help automate processes in your business, I think you'll end up on a paid tier with Zapier because it is absolutely phenomenal piece of software. Next on my list of good to have software is JPEG Mini. I run absolutely all of my images through JPEG Mini. I have JPEG Mini Pro because it comes with an extension that allows me to run all of my exports from Capture One right through JPEG Mini. And you can do that with Lightroom and Photoshop as well with the pro version of JPEG Mini. JPEG Mini really makes your JPEGs a lot smaller, saves a lot of space. If you're uploading client images to a gallery service where space is at a premium, then use JPEG Mini for sure. It's also fantastic fantastic for helping to reduce the file size of images that you put on your website, which allows your website to load faster. It's a one-time payment, but if you choose to upgrade, you will have to pay for those upgrades, but you can just get it once and keep using it forever. It's not an absolute must have, but it's definitely a good to have. My final good to have recommendation is otter.ai. Otter is an app that you can download to your phone. And when you're having client meetings, it can transcribe what's happening in the meeting real time. And then it can upload it to the Otter server. It can detect different speakers. You can go to your desktop computer. You can open up the conversation you just had with your clients and ask it to summarize the conversation for you. You definitely need to check the laws where you are to make sure that you have consent to record the conversation though. If you're meeting with clients, it's very easy for you to just ask them if you can record the conversation right now so that you can listen back to it later so you're not taking notes at that time and you can really focus on having the conversation and engaging with them. Most of them will say yes. If they say no, just go back to taking your notes the old way. I was using it religiously in every meeting I had with all my wedding clients. Across Canada, we are a single party consent country. So if one person consents to recording the conversation, that's all we need. So I can record all the conversations that I have with my clients so that I can go back and refer to those notes later. And this brings us to the honorable mentions section. First up in the honorable mentions section for me is Airtable. I use it for so many things. I've built my social media calendar into Airtable. I use it to handle a, the database of my industry contacts. I track my gear in Airtable. I have so many databases set up in Airtable that really work and function incredibly well. And because it's a database, you can link back and forth through different tables and you can have different views. You can have Kanban views, you can have a grid sort of like a spreadsheet view that you can then group and then and it functions like a table. Airtable is phenomenal uh, and it's free. Check out the link below. Just go sign up for it and you start using it. I You'll thank me later. Trust me. Also coming in for honorable mentions, I'm gonna group these two together and these are AI assistants. If you are a wedding photographer and you're processing a lot of images, programs like Aftershoot and Imagen AI are fantastic to help you very quickly process your shoot. They can look for closed eyes, blurry photos, and they can rate the images and, and color code the images for you. Then you can take those images from Aftershoot, put them into Lightroom, put them into Capture One. And then if you're using Lightroom, then you can send your catalog up to to Imagen AI. You can build an AI profile based on your editing style from past sessions, past weddings, past catalogs, or you can use one of their preset artist styles. It's really fantastic. I think it's a really great tool. If I was still shooting weddings a lot, I would be using both of those programs religiously. They would be much higher in my grouping, but right now, because I'm not using them regularly, I think they deserve honorable mentions because they're both fantastic pieces of software. And finally, closing out the video, the last honorable 
honorable mention is WhatsApp. Yeah, if you're in Canada, you, you, you probably like me, you probably don't use WhatsApp. In many parts of the world, they use WhatsApp as their primary method of communication. They use it more than they use actual phones. I know for some places, you can only communicate with them through WhatsApp. I've heard of situations where if you are in a hotel and you wanna get in touch with the front desk, you have to contact them via WhatsApp. There's not a phone that you can use or a phone system that you can use. You have to use WhatsApp. Let me know in the comments if you think there's software that I've missed, software that you think is a must have, a should have, a good to have, or an honorable mention. I'd love to find out about new software or, or things that I might be missing that can help my business as well. Let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.